We're here on this trail going along the Sisquak River, and the river is actually right down there. I don't know if you could hear it. And it's it's raining pretty good, as usual lately. Um, but the trail is winding up along this river here, and as you can see over there, there's this wooden wall built up to prevent landslides of the trail. So. This should be kind of fun. It's pretty beautiful out here. No, no wind at all, so we'll see what happens. Okay, here we are at the, the river here. This is the Sisquak River. And as you can see, there's the trail right there. It's a, there is no, no way across right here, so I'm going to have to scope out up the river here and see what I can find. Okay, I don't see any way across this river without getting wet. And I'm not going to stop just because of the water, so this looks like a, I don't know. It's like maybe we'll, maybe we'll just take a little swim. So you got wet feet, who cares? Let's see. Here's my trail anyway. Hmm, let's just do it. There you go. That's how you cross a river. <laughs> so I guess this is my trail right now. Uh, I don't know where the trail is at the moment. It's somewhere nearby. But I have to say it's a good thing that I plunged into that river earlier because I've had to I've had to um, cross the river about five or six times already. So might as well get it over at the start. Now I don't need to worry about getting wet. I'm already quite wet. But this is pretty fun. So. Okay, you guys, um, it looks like we have a problem here. Um, as you can see, this branch here is crossing the path. Um, I don't really know. I don't think I can go on right now. Uh, I mean, look at that tree. It's branches and, and it's wet. Uh, I, I don't know, might be over. Some really cool meadows here, as you can see, going that way. And then up here in the hills, you can see these peaks in the fog. It is pretty nice out here. So. This is obviously an ominous sign. There are wild deer out here apparently. Reach the river again. Looks like it was recently flowing a lot heavier than it is right now. So, green hills. Gonna have to keep an eye out for those deer. Again, it seems like I lost the trail. I was on it one second and now I'm not. This here kind of looks like a trail, but this could very well be a deer trail. 
And that's the last thing I want to be on right now. It's just getting creepier by the minute. Here we are again. Had another obstacle on the trail. This tree looks like it just fell like 10 minutes ago. It's, looks pretty fresh. So, I think I can get over this one though. Splintered. So, we're at about the four mile mark right now. And this trail is supposed to lead to a old historic school that was built in the late 1800s. So, it was supposed to be at about mile four. So, hopefully it comes up soon. But as you can see, we've got another river crossing here. So, let's get this over with. This is kind of weird. I'm not really sure what happened, but following the trail, and now look at the river. Completely muddy. So I don't know if there's uh, a little flash flood up above or what. Um, but now we are at, uh, looks like, we're at past four and a half miles right now. And we're still not to the uh, historic school. And I don't know if I'm really up for taking a plunge into this dirty water. Um, I know that might sound stupid, but uh, I don't want to get my shoes all full of mud. And this has been a great hike anyway. But look at this. It's just... Not even a half a mile ago it was crystal clear. So there must be another inlet up above that is feeding this in. Um, it's real thick though. Kind of cool rocks here though. So anyway, I think I'm content with this being the turnaround point. Don't really want to go swimming in this. <clears throat> so. Maybe next time. It just crossed my mind that I saw a trail, a fork right over here that heads off in that direction. I'm curious to see how that river got so dirty so fast. So that's the trail I came in on right there. And this is a fork. Who knows, maybe this uh, historic school is actually over here. So. We'll see what happens. Pretty beautiful country back here though. And the rain has slowed down a bit. It's not so wet. Haven't seen any deer yet either. But I think they're around. Well, that was a long way to find out that uh, that's where I was just talking to you. I was just standing over there on the other side of this big rock. So I just walked all the way around to get about 10 feet further. But what I did find is that there's a little campsite up here. It's kind of nice right next to the river. If only the river wasn't full of mud. It even has a scent to it. It's like, it smells dirty. <laughs> but yeah, there's this little 
camping area. So, uh, might be a good place to go backpacking sometime so you can get a little bit further. Also, can't see, but up there beyond this hill, there's something called Castle Rocks. And I've never seen them before until today, but uh, they look pretty cool. Maybe some good climbing. Maybe that's why there's campsites here for climbers, so. Time to head back. That's it. So there are Castle Rocks right there. And down in that area is where we had the Muddy River. And I just came up this trail here. And here, there's this big ridge. Not a big ridge, a small ridge. And the water down here is clear and clean. So somewhere be on the other side of this ridge, the river wraps around this big rock and there's probably another inlet up above on the other side of this ridge where that dirty water is filtering in probably from a landslide or maybe a little flash flood. Um, but the water is clearly clear here, so kind of interesting. I've never seen that before. I never had the chance to see it. Doesn't last that long, so. So I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. This must be the coolest tree ever. Look at these spikes. The tree is wearing spikes. That's kind of weird. Okay. This is pretty weird. I just crossed the river 10 minutes ago and it was crystal clear. Now, this is the same river. Now it's getting just as dirty as we saw back, back at Castle Rock. I mean, it's, it's pretty dirty. Which means I'm gonna have to trace through this dirty river about six or seven more times. Not too happy about that. So, has a weird scent too. I think I already said that, but. Anyway, that's the way it goes. Okay, that was pretty deep. <laughs> that is another drawback to these <laughs> dirty rivers. <laughs> I just went into my knees by accident because I can't see how deep it is. <laughs> so, this is going to be fun. <laughs> I'm not sure if you could hear this, but try to listen to my shoe. It's pretty wet. They're bathtubs for feet. I just crossed the river again, fell in up to my knees again. Here's another crossing. <clears throat> my feet are full of water, my shoes. The river is quite brown now. Can't see how deep it is, so might as well just walk it out. Obviously there's some kind of a landslide up above and this is different than the landslide situation we had down below. So, because the water wasn't brown uh, down below, so obviously the brown doesn't flow up. So, um, it started raining again too. So, now I've got about two and a half more miles here I don't know. I think I got my fill. I think I'm ready to to be at the end. So it's still amazing here. I'm still enjoying it, but uh, 
Yeah, my feet are really wet. And look at that brown. Trying to pick up the pace here a little bit because I do think that that river is rising. And it's getting harder and harder to cross it. I don't even know where the trail is right now. But I know follow the river that way. But uh, start, it's time to start using some river crossing techniques. <laughs> like always face upstream, not holding your camera in the hand. So we'll see what happens. This is pretty fun though. Don't get me wrong, I am enjoying this, <laughs> believe it or not. It could be my imagination, but I don't think these little side tributaries were flowing when I came through here the first time. Not only are they flowing, but they're flowing kind of fast. Luckily, they're easy to cross. Okay. I think I'm in the clear now. This trail is going up along this ridge here. And uh, so I think that was the last river crossing. Um, some pretty strange things in the water when I was crossing. I saw something about that big with legs moving. <laughs> Looks like a big spider. I don't know what it was, but um, I've never seen a spider like that. So. Uh, not the kind of thing you want to see in murky brown waters <laughs> when you're about, yeah, not, but, uh, but this is great. I mean, look at this view here, the valley. It's, uh, this is what life's all about. This is great. <laughs> so we're almost back to the car, about another mile. All things are clearing up here. Um, see some blue sky now. It's not raining anymore. Some birds flying. I don't know if you could see that. Um, so, almost to the end of the road here. Looks like we've got another, I don't know, maybe another. Oh, there's a car right there. I can see it right down there. So, this looks like the end of the line. You can see the river of brown here. <laughs> Little sun peeking out. Good stuff. So it's a much different scene now at the end of the hike than it was when I started. But as you come down here, you can see the river is sol solidly flowing brown. Sun's out, sky's blue. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a completely different place. So I'm glad, I'm glad to be back. So no more brown. 